Hey y'all, welcome to fifth grade, chapter 11, lesson one. We're gonna go ahead and get started with number two. Um, so this, four sides, makes it a quadrilateral. More that, quadrilateral. And there's a name for this shape. That would be regular. That's kind of the easy way to tell between regular and irregular is if I can name it, then it then it's regular. OK, so this one. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sides, which makes it an octagon. OK, but it's not a regular octagon, so irregular or not regular. Okay. All right. This one has one, two, three, four, five, six sides, making it a hexagon. And because I have a name for it, it is regular. Okay. You guys do five and six. We're going to go down. And do a uh, do number seven. Sorry about that. So it says sketch nine points, then connect the points to form a plane figure. What kind of polygon did you draw? Okay, well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so we're going to connect them. Okay, well, nine points, nine sides, which I really did a bad job. I kind of rounded some of them, but that would be a nonagon. Nine sides, nonagon. Okay, sketch seven points, then connect the points. Okay, so go ahead and do that. Okay, and but I'm just going to name the polygon a seven sided is a heptagon. Okay, so go ahead, draw your seven dots. Okay, doesn't matter what shape it's in because it is seven sided, it is a heptagon. Okay, all right, so we're going to go over onto the back where you guys are going to do the lesson check just like always. Okay, remember if it has a name, it's regular. If it doesn't, not okay and we're going to go down to this power review it says Anne needs 42 feet of fabric to make small quilts how many yards of fabric should she buy okay so 42 feet when there are three feet in one yard okay so now we're going to cross cancel feet we wind up in yard that's what we want okay and it looks like we have to divide 42 by 3. Okay. 3 is going to go into 4 one time. 1 times 3 is 3. Subtract and get 1. 1 is smaller than 3, so I can bring down my 2. 3 goes into 12. 4 times 4 times 3 is 12. Subtract is 0. So 14 yards. Okay. Make sure that you pause and write down your work, guys. Okay, Todd brain begins piano practice at 4.15 p.m. and ends at 5.50. How long does he practice? Well, so 4.15 to 5.15 is one hour, okay? Then he goes another, let's do 50 minus 15. 10 minus 5 is 5, 4 minus 1 is 3, so another 35 minutes. So it'll be 1 hour, 35 minutes. Okay? I got us, this is 1 hour, okay? And then all I did was take the 50 right there and subtract the 15 from the 515. Gave me 35 minutes. Okay? All right. 
Jenna has 30 barrettes. She is organizing her barrettes into six boxes. She puts the same number of barrettes in each box. Write an expression you can use to find the number of barrettes in each box. Well, she has 30 barrettes and she's dividing them into six boxes. Done. Okay. Melody has $45. She spent $32.75 on a blouse. Then her mother gave her $15.50. How much money does Melanie have now? So $45 minus 37, 70, oh, sorry, 32.75. Okay, then we're gonna take that and we're gonna add on that $15.50 to find out how much she has, okay? All these zeros can't take away anything, so I'm gonna borrow one, making that one a 10, but then I have to borrow one of those, making that a 10. So now, drop my decimal, 10 minus 5 is 5, 9 minus 7 is 2, 4 minus 2 is 3, and 4 minus 3 is 1. And we're just going to add those up, okay? Drop our decimal, 5, 7, 8, 2, $28.75. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out for 11.1. .1. Come on back for 11.2. See you soon.